Alright, who who is who is NO? Like like who are you? I'm that nigga. Okay. <laughs> nah, nah. Um from you know East New York, you know what I'm okay. saying? Um, I'm a real hip hop nigga, lyricist and all of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just here to, you know, bring bring lyrical and real music back to the game, you know what I mean? Um Big is 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 somebody that we knew, me and my cousin, we knew personally, like we from the same neighborhood and shit. Alright. Um why is that why is why is Big important to you? Big important to me because I feel like he was talented to where he was able to make different type of music. You understand? And he wasn't like just stuck in one lane. And he was talented enough to touch like the masses in that way. So that's why I feel like you know he did it the best because he no matter what type of artist you are, you can take something from him. You know what I'm saying? So so right now, um, 2012, when he died, some of the kids wasn't born. All right. So now what they see now is Rick Ross, who they kind of like to me, trying to push as the new big. How you feel about that? See what the, the crazy thing is is like see when Big with Big passing away, that's how you could tell how great he was because he opened up numerous lanes, like mm -hmm. several different lanes for a bunch of people to fill in because one man is missing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So how I feel about the kids looking at Rick Ross like he big or whatever? Uh -huh. I mean, you know, Rick Ross gotta get his money. You know what I mean? I'm sure he was inspired the same way I am, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, it's it's all music. Big, big legacy. You think that's been upheld good, bad? Poorly, like, you know, how you feel about that? I mean, I feel it could be an improvement. That's why I wrote the record. You know okay. what I'm saying? Because I feel like, you know, with me being involved, I just want to bring more of Big's legacy to the light for the same kids that wasn't born when he passed away. You know what I'm saying? What's your favorite record? Like, From Big? Yeah. Um, yeah, nobody till somebody kills you. <laughs> yeah, like, like, it was like a profit record or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, like, he, the way, why was my favorite record is because he just was zoning in those verses. Like, if you listen, I don't know, you know, if you're really into lyrics like that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I am, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, the, like, when on that record, he was zoning. Like, the topic just kept going. You understand what I'm saying? And if you listen to, you know, other rappers, a lot of people refer to Dark Skin Jermaine and they own records. So he made a whole character out of, out of somebody he just put in his raps. You know what I'm saying? So that was a real powerful record to me. So, I mean, East New York, um, we was in here talking about Chicago earlier, but East New York is a is battle zone also. You know what I'm saying? It goes, it goes down in the East. Um, as an artist, do you feel like sometimes you got to take responsibility for what's going on in the street, or you just so much as part of that shit is was what's going on? How do you feel about that? I mean, two things. It's like, it's like I'm I'm a part of it because because of the level I'm at right now as uh -huh. far as far as what I'm doing, but. You know, once the level increases, I think you become a role model, whether you like it or not. Uh -huh. So you have to take responsibility for what's going on and try to have some kind of positive effect on it. So you, I mean, because you got artists right now who's, yo, I'm still out here, I'm still out, but they live in gated communities. And so how do you feel about artists who is not telling the the niggas in the hood, yo, chill, get money, but they still acting like they out there gang banging and shit, but they go home to Jersey, Jersey. and Westchester and shit like that. I mean, it's like this, man. When you in the streets, any official nigga, like if you really, if you really a, a real nigga, you call yourself thorough. No matter what you're doing to get money, if it's on the wrong, if it's on the illegal side of things, you always have, you always have hopes of being fully legitimate. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, for someone to already be, f I mean, I don't know, I don't know, you know, these niggas' personal lives, like these other artists. So, but if they, for example, you got somebody like a little Wayne who blood and I'm in the street and all that but he joined blood when he was rich. 30 rich and was rich already you know what I'm saying like yeah but see I don't like it's like this I don't know what type of role he's playing in his set okay you understand okay. Like, I understand that he, yep. he, he could be financially you know uplifting his set or whatever yeah. whatever they involved in. I don't know that okay you understand what yeah, I'm saying yeah, so yeah. like I, I would have to sit down and have a personal conversation or what was going on with him to for me to pass judgment on what he's doing, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think we just got kicked off the internet and got kicked back. Yeah, we got kicked off for one second and kicked back on, but we're still rolling right here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what's your Twitter? What's your um information for the people that might be seeing this that want to, you know, um, like what they heard and want to stay in contact with you? What's what's your information? Yeah, um, the website is www.coleonfinleymusic.com. Uh huh. 
Twitter is n underscore o underscore coleon one. You can add me at that. Um, Instagram is n underscore o underscore. Facebook is n o coleon. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And Dawn of the Ghetto mixtape is on that piff right now. You know what I'm saying? Okay. How many joints is on the mixtape? Twenty. When you go about making your mixtape, what's your is it an industry beat thing? Is it an original beat? Like, how do you go about making your music? Majority of the mixtape is original material. Okay. But I, but I, um, I put a little, I put a few familiar beats in there just to, you know, for the listeners to be familiar with me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. What, what, hip hop today? Um, you said you feel like you have to do a little something to remind people of big and let them know that he exists. How do you feel about music today? Like, what do you listen to? Truthfully. Music in general or hip hop? Hip hop. Um, I mean, it's like this, man. I listen to majority older music. Yeah. You understand? Like, um, I like a few new people, but at the end of the day, I listen to majority older music. That that that's what inspires me and stretches my brain. I got that new Nas album. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, definitely. I actually like Ross. You know what I mean? It's, but you know, for the most part, I listen to older music. So so, how you feel about like uh, today? It just seems like. You don't have to be lyrical to get on. You just gotta have a catchy tune and a, and, and a nice, I guess, club 808 in your shit, and they fucking with you. Yeah, that's not my thing. I yeah. like, I like, I like talent. I like lyrical ability. I like, I like for um for people to stretch the ball. But what I feel, what happened was, this is what I personally feel. I feel big. I feel Nas. I feel Jay Z. I feel they reached such a certain plateau that people stopped trying to reach that level and it just went a whole nother direction. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why I feel we have where we at now. Um what what's gonna change? Besides yourself, what do you think that everybody needs to do as a collective? Because you know also New York hip hop scene is, is struggling right now. Yeah, I feel like somebody's gonna have to bring it back to the Mecca. But you got niggas disrespecting the town too. You know, you got niggas like Lil Wayne is like, yo, I don't like New York. I mean, they feel they can because there's no force here currently. Okay. But, but, but when that changes, then I feel people disrespecting the town will change. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we're here with N.O. What does N.O. stand for? My government name. You understand okay. what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. I, w I never wanted to be nobody else but myself. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. So I kept it as close to myself as possible. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, what other drink we got from him over there? We got your other drink.